I've trained more world champions than anyone else in boxing history. In 66 seconds, Roberto Duran changed my life. He's yours! Show him, drive him nuts! When I first met De Niro, he liked the script, but he told me, if you're doing a serious boxing movie with Robert De Niro, you're gonna be compared to Raging Bull. That's a big burden for you, it's a big burden for me. If we're gonna do something, we're gonna have to do something very special. Get off the fence. Excuse me? Get off the fence. Ah, shut up, schmuck. Who do you think you are, old man? I'm Ray Arcel from Harlem, USA. You know what that is? This is the future world champion you're talking to here. Jonathan, I, I like very much. He has heart. You can see it in the movie, and he's a good person and, and a good director, a wonderful director. It's been one of the biggest privileges and honors in my life to work with Robert De Niro and to, and to do a movie like this with him. Hook after that right hook. Double up, jam, jam, jam. He's one of the most generous persons I've ever met. He's so strong and at the same time approachable and has such a warmth and a command. It was so inspiring to work with him. Freeze. Because of the movies De Niro made with Coppola, because of the movies De Niro made with Martin Scorsese, to really see De Niro completely transform and embody a character in my movie was incredible. Get him up against the rope. You see him in the movie, sometimes he looks more like Ray Arcel than he does like Cover De Niro. Ray Arcel was an interesting guy. He didn't look like the typical trainer. He was more like a banker, and some people said that he, he was elegant and he just had a reserve about him that was special uh, and had like 20 or over 20 champions. He was a very disciplined and principled guy, very you know, kind of old fashioned, old school. Why you always brushed my hair when we were in the corners? Fighter punches you, feels proud, bell sounds, next round starts, you come out looking all fresh, like you just came out of the shower, it drives him nuts, he thinks he can't hurt you. All psychological. I think it's probably a bit of a father-son thing, obviously, and caring for him. He did actually comb his hair when he threw him back out in the ring and stuff and, and so on. Those are nice touches. Yeah, yeah, he's tall and he's going to name me. What, you work for him or what? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, yeah, he's tall. What am I doing and he's here? A, I don't need he's gonna this. Name me? Yeah, because he's Ringo. Listen, you stupid right? little schmuck. You want me to leave here? I can leave you in the corner by yourself. Now behave yourself, act like a grown-up, and stop I'm being a nervous, mover. okay? I know you're nervous, but look at him. You're making it worse, okay? I'm, I'm, you're making yourself worse. Okay, relax. You're making, no, you relax. You get out there and you show me what you can do. You pace yourself. You be the boss. De Niro, he's been involved in the project since the very, very beginning, and you can tell he was very passionate about the story. He fell in love with Ray Arcel. It was a very personal role for him. He became a godfather to the movie. He helped us find the money. He was a big part of it. I had said, why don't you get a hold of the Panamanian government and tell them you're doing it about Duran. Duran was on board. Ready? One, two. He wrote to the president of Panama. He wrote to anybody, anybody we needed him to meet with. Everyone in the film commission in Panama and the government, like all of these people started calling us and be like, come to Panama, let's do this movie here. And we literally grabbed our suitcase and came to Panama and we had all of the actors supporting us to come. There's something about De Niro when you are at 4 a.m. shooting, you know, the 20th take of a fight with 500 extras, everybody is exhausted. But you see in that corner, Robert De Niro, and he's sitting there, and he's being a pro and he's waiting for his turn. And you know what? There is no reason why any actor can have an ego problem where Robert De Niro doesn't have an ego problem. You know, that's what differentiates a great actor from a legend. It was a privilege to have Regin Bull on my corner. You're Roberto Duran. Get in there and act like him. Are we gonna be champions? 